All right, what's going on guys? It's Caleb, we're back. Today I have kind of a special video. I already did a putting video and I thought I'd do an approach video because my main successful part of my game with disc golf is my approach and my putting. If you didn't check out the putting video, go check it out. You might enjoy it, might help you out, learn something new. So my approach game, that is what's going to shave strokes off of your rounds. And just in general, it's going to make you a better disc golfer, make your rating go way up, etc. So here's exactly what I do to kind of work on that. So this basket is 230. I'm not, I'm not really gonna aim for it. I'm just gonna do a smooth forehand right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking a zone or whatever you guys wanna do backhand, just something smooth that you can replicate where it's just a smooth doesn't hurt. You're not trying to kill it where you can lose your accuracy. It's just simple 70%, like not even that. Walk up, just like that. Now that might not be close to the back. I mean, it's still circle one. But then you want to kind of gauge these distances. You want to throw one, you want to try to do the exact same thing with another disc. This is what I used to do. Just simple, and I can do that every time, does not hurt. That should be pretty close. Same thing. Eh, a little off, more stable. Oh, that had some wobble. Damn. That might be a little longer. So now we're going to do the same exact thing with the backhand. Um, you can just throw them all backhand, your first like overstable approaches. Now this is just kind of going to be something that's just a neutral disc, 70%. That you can replicate a lot. Like that did not take any effort. That's probably right with the zone. Yeah, that almost hit my zone. This one should be a little flippier, but. Yeah, if that was a premium chalet, it would have been a little better. So now we have those out there. Okay, so not the best, but also it's. It's not the worst. So now if you have a range finder, it is nice because you can basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be throwing them back towards the bag. So now I'm gonna be trying to actually be precise and accurate and kind of speed control on these discs. Basket's 206 feet. That was a little short, but we can work with it. 204, almost the same shot. That was so nose up and terrifyingly short. 200. Okay, that's by 10, 15. 95, I'd say. Yep, back in 200. It is kind of windy today, but that's not an excuse because you know that's it's part of life. Well, it's part of disc golf. <laughs> 195. Hit the bag. Ooh. Okay. Same thing. Oh, it's hitting the bag. Ooh. Okay, so now we kind of felt that easy distance and speed control. You can do it with mid ranges. Um, like if I were to do a mid range at it, it's slipping out of my hand with the water, but same exact thing. Just They'll go a little further, but yeah, same thing as that. Mid ranges, putters, drivers, just whatever you want to work on it with. But yeah, guys, try that. I know the rain kind of didn't do it justice, but you get my point. If you're someone struggling with approaching, I mean, it's not going to make you worse. It's only going to make you better. Uh, if you're more backhand dominant, you can try doing backhands. Macbeth did like a version of this. You can check it out. I think it's, it might be under actually Paul's channel of like something. I don't know what it's titled. It also is good because when you get your distances down, you also can be more comfortable in a tournament and get out of that like tightness and also get out of that tournament aspect. You know what I mean? You can actually hit your lines and commit to the shots that you're confident in because obviously we're going to play better in practice rounds and we're not going to play as good in tournaments for the most part. When you think about approaching, you're thinking about flicking. That's not really what, I think Brody Smith said this, you don't have to really focus on flicking. If it's only 180 feet, you can slow your wrist down and still get the full flight that you want. Just hit, just pretty much put it on the angle you want that will get that flight. That's just when knowing your disc is gonna come into play. So if it's 180 feet and I can't flick it, cause I know if I flick it, I'm gonna go a little far. If it's downhill or something, you just wanna do something light, just slow your wrist down. You don't have to, you can just do something like that. I mean, that's not a good demonstration, but you can just do something like that where you just slow your wrist down instead of, flicking it 180 feet, getting a ton of wobble, and then you're 100 feet long because it was downhill or if it was uphill, a touchy landing. You guys get the point though. Tell me if you guys have any other ideas to improve your approaching. This is kind of what I naturally did as I was getting into disc golf. That's what kind of helped me with my approaching because that is what's gonna help you save a ton of strokes. I haven't really been doing this as much because I've been working more on my form and getting off the tee more than my approaching and putting because my putting is feeling really good right now and my approaches are feeling really good as well. So, you guys be safe and have a good rest of your day, all right?